Okay, I have 10 tips for you today on fast typing. First, you need to decide what keyboard you want to use. I'm going to be using this keyboard for demo purposes. Some keyboards might just not be designed for the high typing speeds. Other problems with the keyboards are lack of feedback from keys, small keys, tough press, distracting click, or uncomfortable layout. All of these will prevent you from typing with extremely fast speed. However, some layouts are designed specifically to minimize hand strain and increase alteration between hands, which in turn increases typing speed. One example is Dvorak. A normal keyboard can be converted to Dvorak. To do that, all you need to do is just order a set of keyboard stickers, similar to those that I have here, uh, which contain different kinds of letters. All you need to do is just uh, apply them in different order. One place to order them is left key. This is what I have here. And this is the example of the stickers. And you can have them in different colors and even in a glowing style. So all you need to do is apply them to the keys according to the Dvorak layout. So your regular Q key, key on the QWERTY keyboard will become the apostrophe. And uh, the new location for the Q key will become what's normally is the X key on a QWERTY keyboard. So as you see, you're remapping the QWERTY into Dvorak. You will have to remap your keyboard layout in Windows or any other operating system and Windows does allow you to do that for Dvorak keyboards. Here is how you add Dvorak keyboard layout in Windows 7. Click the start button and choose control panel. In control panel find change keyboards or other input methods link and click it. We'll have the dialog popping up on the third tab, click the Change Keyboards button. Another dialog comes up and you can add your Dvorak keyboard layout. For that, type English and choose English United States over here. In it, choose United States Dvorak and click Preview. It'll show you the full Dvorak layout and then click OK on all of the dialogs. You can now change your Dvorak keyboard layout in the language bar. I will recommend to do that only in case you use a single keyboard most of the time. If you constantly switch between different keyboards or work in different places or you have multiple computers, you'll have to learn the QWERTY keyboard typing as uncomfortable as it is, but it will give you other benefits such as not having to switch between different keyboard layouts that you, you're not used to. You can increase the ergonomics of your keyboard. So, normal keyboards uh, they might look nice, but really they are not that comfortable. Some keyboards specifically guarantee a long running productivity and reduce the strain in your hands. What you can do is you can just take the whole keyboard and replace it with the more ergonomic. might look bigger and might not be as beautiful as the previous one I had, but surely when you type a lot of tabs, your hands will be properly positioned. You have the hand rest here and obviously the keys have a proper feedback. When you, you need to position yourself properly when you work on the keyboard. So your hands need to be flat. Your hand wrist should be a little bit higher than normal so you don't touch the table with your hand wrist.
You also look at the way you're gonna be typing. Your hand need, the hands need to be comfortable. The suggested position of your desk is at the height of 75 centimeters from the floor, but sometimes you need to raise it a little bit, like five or 10 centimeters more. Another thing to watch for is your posture. Because it's straight and your legs are down, that means you won't have a huge strain after half an hour of work. And you'll improve your tapping performance faster. Place your fingers into home position. You will see the markings on the F key and on the J key right in the middle for your right hand and for your left hand. This is called your home position. With hands on the home position, try typing each key once from left to right. Try typing the other way around. Try typing faster. Try typing same sequence without looking at the keyboard as fast as you can. Now when you get used to typing with this row, try composing random words by knowing which key you're going to be typing next. And if you can do that in a faster manner, that's even better. Now you can add some capitals. So with your small finger, hold the shift key and attempt to type different types of keys with the rest of your fingers. Sometimes you just hold the shift key to type only one capital letter and then you release the shift key and type other letters. When you added capitals you can gradually add other rows of letters. First you add the top row and try to compose different words with it. But before even composing try to do the same exercise switching the top row typing and the bottom right row typing and typing random words with those two rows. Once this is done, you add the bottom row here. Remember that you don't really move your hands to the whole row. You keep your hands in the home position and only fingers are moved, either to the top or the bottom. the hands constantly return to the home position. Finally, you add some numbers. Keep practicing and your typing speed will increase every day. One thing that you have to remember don't get tempted to look at the keyboard. It, initially, it will be very hard. But in about one or two days, you will notice that you don't really need to look as many times as you looked at it before. Because your brain starts remembering the position. And same as you learn skiing or jumping or walking when you were young, uh, your brain will remember the movements of your hands on the keyboard. It will become automatic. Well, enjoy your typing and have a great time.